Hello, I'm Play Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. Using tarot to help you to do the inner work, heal yourself and create the life that you truly want to live. This is today's tarot. It's for all signs and it's for Monday, the 26th of August, 2024. I hope you're doing well. I've got a new thing. It's the Abundance Blueprint and it's available from my website, BeHealing.com for just $8.88. Um, you can download that instantly. It gives you three steps to abundance. It's simple. And if you practice it every single day, those three steps, I'm telling you, you're going to get instant results from it. Visit my site, website, behealing.com to get yourself that. Okay, what's in the energies for everybody today? Let's have a look. Oh, three cards. I've got make a wish. So what would you really like? What would you really like to experience? Or what would you really like to have right now? The awakening, waking up to something. It's also the card of the calling, feeling a pull to something. And the creation of light, making it easier, not so hard anymore. Okay, so there's a simplification going on here of something that you really want, something that you've wished for, or something that you're making a fresh wish for, but it doesn't feel like a fresh wish to me. It feels like something that you've already wished for. An intention that you've set is getting easier. You've been shown the way. Or you've been shown the way to how to make it easier for you, on yourself, right? So, sometimes we are so hard on ourselves. This is why self-love is often the answer to everything. <laughs> and this... This is saying like you've been woken up to it now, how to make it easier on yourself. Solitude and cuddles. Self-love. Solitude and solitude cuddles. What are they? That's self-love. <laughs> that is self-love. So tending to yourself emotionally. Right. When we want cuddles from other people, we're looking outside of ourselves for that comfort. We've got to learn how to do it for ourselves. Not so that we can be always independent doing everything ourselves, but it is an important skill to have to be able to love ourselves because we're not really accepting the love from anyone else until we can give it to ourselves and receive it from ourselves first. Because when, if you don't, if you don't want to love yourself and if you don't want to receive love from yourself, if you're quite happy to like be mean to yourself instead, that shows that you've got a block to it, right? That you've got a block to receiving. So love yourself. Love yourself. Everything gets easier when you love yourself. What else? Travel. Ooh, are you going somewhere? You booking a ticket somewhere? Going to see someone? Going to see something? Somewhere? Let's get some tarot cards out. See what's going on. I've also got a membership on my on this channel channel here. If you join see the join button down there click it join up and you'll get invited to members only live shows i do a few of them throughout the week catch me if you can if you manage to catch me live then i will give you a personal i'll get cards out for you personally in there but i'll also i also pull cards out for the collective that is the membership um, with special readings in there to guide us forward strength card is out first strength and courage is required we've got the seven of swords someone being sneaky this is the bs card this is the lies either we tell ourselves other people tell us we've got the lovers card as well self-evident and we have page of swords someone's got their eye on you someone's watching you someone's noticed you perhaps appreciating you will see perhaps, yeah it could be any kind of uh, focus that they've got on you we'll see strength and courage be strong you got this Two of materials, balance, juggles, five of voices. So this these two this pair came out yesterday and it, it was when we take the lead in something, the stress that it brings about, you've got to seek that balance. So as soon as you start feeling a, a negative energy within yourself, take a step back and seek balance. When it's applied to strength and courage, you're stepping forward with strength and courage, it can tip over that point to a lot of anxiety, right? There's a fine line, right, between the nerves when you're taking a courageous step forward and then when it heads to anxiety that's harming us. This is why you've got to get self-love right first. Because if you're loving yourself, when it tips over to that, it's like, oh, this is harming me. I need to take a step back, right? Um, for example, I am involved with my friend's new business, a new gym, and I am absolutely loving it. But... It has its stresses and sometimes they're asking too much of me and sometimes when it tips over I have to take a step back and say I can't do this at the moment it you know it, it becomes too much for me 
it's heading into the anxious state or it's taken away from my business or whatever it is, when it becomes too much for me, I love myself enough to take a step back. I draw a boundary, I might have to say that boundary to them, but it's more, more often than not a boundary within myself of me saying, you know, I need to take a step back and stop offering myself so much because it's tipped over that edge into anxiety or stress, right? So there's that again. Ace of materials, because you're starting something big here for the long term and you've got to learn how to relax. I've been saying this over the last two days, the same message. So it's just repeating it. You're starting something big here, but the onus isn't on you. It's not all on your shoulders. You don't need to do it all yourself. You need to learn balance with this. You can lead something with balance. It is possible. There's anger behind that as well, especially if you're getting intense negative emotions like anger it couldn't it might not be anger it could be like i said it could be anxiety it could be frustration all of these things are a sign that we've gone too far and to reel it back in and take a break and take a step back seven of swords is the card of bs now this could be internal bs because internal bs goes i oh, know i've got to take charge of it the emperor i've got to take charge of it i've got to do this i've got to keep doing it i can't take a step back it's like really you can't take a step, the step, the step that is going to make it better. You can't take that step because you're in charge. So you're going to persist and like make it bad energy. That doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense. So the chariot, you're going to be feel, you're going to feel pulled in two directions. There's going to be the part of you that goes, no, I need to take responsibility of this. I need to keep going. Another example. Say you're having money troubles at the moment. You've got a bill that needs to be paid and you don't have the money for it. There's a part of us little devil on our shoulder, the fear devil, he says, or she says, I've got to take control of this. I've got to do something right now. The onus is on me. I, this is really mean, right? To ourselves. The onus is on me. I made this happen. I am not good enough. I need to do something about this now. I can't rest right now. I can't like clear my mind or get, get in tune. I have got to do something about this because I am the one that's created it, right? If you keep on soldiering on at that point, you are not going to manifest anything good at all. The angel on our shoulder goes, take a break. And the devil's going, how irresponsible. Don't listen. Don't listen. No, you can't take a break now. Now is exactly the time that you can't take a break. You've got to sort this out yourself, right? Whereas the angel knows if you just took a break, if you just loved yourself instead and realized that you are way more than that bill or whatever, you're way more valuable than money. Believe me, your well-being is way more valuable than money. Way more valuable than money. And once you realize that and you love yourself, you take a step back and you relax. What's going to happen is that you're going to get an idea uh, and it's going to lead you, the solution. You become the energy of the solution by loving yourself. You're seeing and giving yourself a break and you'll get the idea that's going to lead you to the solution, to manifesting something that will help you out. It might be that you, then you call whoever got the debt or whatever, the bill that you need to pay, and they say, oh, yeah, you can just pay it next month. Or we've got a payment plan, you know? It just could be something as simple as that. Or it could be something else. But you, you, this reading is saying you've got to start listening to that angel and stop listening to that devil on your shoulder. The Seven of Swords is the devil on your shoulder and the BS that it says. And I think we've already always we've all experienced that, right? That whole now I can't stop now because I'm struggling. I've got to keep on struggling. I've got to keep on struggling. Is another that's exactly why you need to stop because you're struggling and it shouldn't be that hard. It doesn't need to be that hard. Love yourself instead. If you saw a little kid doing that same thing to themselves, you say, hey, stop, you don't need to do that. If they were struggling to do something the wrong way over and over again and they were getting really frustrated and they were really like hurting themselves with it, you would scoop them up and say, stop, 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 just relax, take it easy, it's okay, you don't need to do that, right? Do that for yourself. Things getting lighter. Things getting lighter for yourself today. Forgiveness is behind that too. And then forgive yourself for listening to that devil because it, it sounds true. It sounds truer than the angel. That's the thing. The devil on our shoulder sounds truer than the angel. And that's because we're mean to ourselves. And the devil on our shoulder is mean to us too. And when we haven't experienced loving relationships, we're mean to ourselves. Yeah? We're mean to ourselves. Why the lovers? Sound of inspiration. Protect yourself. Okay, 
So if someone's trying to get some of your energy at the moment, a partner, lover, a wannabe lover, whatever, protect your energy. Some of you need to hear that. What's behind that is feminine energy and truth. Especially if you're resonating with this reading and there's a lot of demands on you at the moment. That's just going to ma manifest into more and more and more demands on you. And so just as you don't have time to even do the things that you need to get done because you're struggling, someone else wants your energy too, right? It's the same kind of an energy, expect expecting too much of you. Page of Swords, someone's got their eye on you. Why? Why? Hmm. Nine of Emotions, your wishes. Things that will make your heart happy. Tell us more, please. The Knight of Materials and the Hierophant. Okay. Someone's coming slowly towards you. They want to make your wishes come true. Hierophant, someone very traditional. Doing it the traditional way. So someone could have that eye on you. Um, this could be lovers. It could be that kind of thing. It could be a work situation as well. Someone eventually wanting to offer you something long term or become a long term client or um, yeah, give you a, a, a job, a long term contract or that kind of thing or a long term relationship, romantic relationship. It could be that too. Knight of Materials says they're going to take the time coming forward. That's probably to give you time to get in alignment with it. There's past, present and future and it's all good. But don't worry, it's all good. In other words, the past, present and future card there and it's all good is saying that this is going to manifest in time. There's no need to rush it. You don't need to try and manifest this person to fall, come forward in a rush. Even though if you're listening to the devil on your shoulder, it's going to feel like that's what you should be doing right now because you expect too much of yourself. Okay, what about our love lies for our singles? Love lies for our singles, please. What have we got going on there? We're obviously protecting ourselves from someone, some lover that wants our energy. Look inside of yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. Are you burdening yourself with the demands of lovers as well? Or having to make all the effort in relationships? Or feeling like you owe, or you need to do that, or you need to put energy into that even though you don't have energy to give to that at the moment. You don't need to. You don't owe anyone a thing. And give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yes, and it's coming. Someone's got their eye on you here. Someone's noticed your energy. But it's coming slow. What else, please? Find a balance. Find the balance within yourself first. And put it this way, if you are struggling with self-love at the moment, and perhaps you thought you were self-loving really good, but then, you know, you realize you're still terrorizing yourself <laughs> at the moment with this certain thing, this certain stressor that's going on at the moment. Um, or you slip back into that anti-self-love kind of thing, the self-terrorism thing. That's not a time when a um, lover, some someone for a long-term relationship will come in, right? Because it shows that you're out of alignment, so they're not going to come in at that time. Um, uh, nor would you want them to be because while you're being mean to yourself, who are you going to attract? Someone that's going to be mean to you too. And we do. And we think that they're loving us, but they're not. They criticize us all the time and we're like, oh, it's because it's a match to how we're being to ourselves. What else do our singles need to know? Communi communication and friendship as well. So keep things on a friendly level with people. You could be getting communication from someone. This person that's coming in slowly could be communicating with you already. It might not have turned into a romantic connection yet. Long distance kind of thing it could be for some of you as well. What else for our singles? We've got feeling unwanted and neediness. So yeah, if you're feeling unwanted and, and that, that's been mean to yourself too, that could cause you to be needy and think, no, I need to find someone now. I need to get someone to love me. You just need to love yourself. You'll naturally attract someone to love you when you start loving yourself right. Intimacy and holding on. Clinging? A clingy feeling? Um, so with this communication of a friendship, you might feel like you haven't got very loving connections in your life. And so you want to keep the most loving connections in your life, even though they're not perhaps completely right for you. Don't hold on to it. If we let go, we'll bring in new people. Okay, let's get more cards out. What else in the energies today?
What else in the energies today, please? It doesn't surprise me that card came out. Wow. Okay. Hard to pick things up when you've got acrylic nails, hey? Okay. The Secret Admirer card came out. This is the one that I am not surprised came out. Someone's got their eye on you, but it's a secret. <laughs> Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Throne, a position of authority. It feels like that's your energy, stepping into a position of authority. This emperor energy is when you start taking charge of something. That's when we can be the meanest to ourselves. Hand, in need of help, assistance and guidance. We need to let other people help us. Let other people in. And grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. And it's mostly about yourself at the moment. If you just think, like, everything, every experience that I'm having is just a reflection of how I'm treating myself right now. And then focus on how you're treating yourself. It can require inner work, you know, contemplation time of like, because it's not obvious, right? Sometimes it's obvious, like when we're really hurting, it's obvious we, we can like even harm ourselves, you know, by doing different things um, and, and even shout at ourselves, you know, be mean, overtly mean. And, that, and that's obvious, right, of when we're being mean to ourselves and not loving ourselves. But then when we stop doing that, it becomes harder and harder to detect that meanness, you know, it can be just like a, a pushing yourself, pushing yourself too hard or something like that. You'll know. But you'll need to tune in for that. Anyway, so I think of a yes or no answer question. I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag and I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But it's just a bit of fun. If you do want a private reading, you're very welcome to book one in. I get them out at the moment within 24 hours of you booking them from my website, behealing.com. Various different types. Check that out on my website. You'll find a link for it in the description box below and also up there too. How best to deal with these energies today? Five of Swords. King of Cups, nice. So the Five of Swords is the fight, is the internal fight. It's the stress and the, all of that. And the King of Cups, this female version of the King of Cups, she's very selective of what she lets in her life, right? Energies, even the energies of yourself within yourself, be very selective. This isn't, say, this isn't just saying careful of who you let in. You see, she's got a good ship there. She's only letting a good ship in. She's not letting burning ships in or like sinking ships in. Just letting good ships in, but apply that to your own energy too. In other words, when you realize you're being mean to yourself, go, oh, I need to stop this right now. I need to stop pushing myself. I need to go and have a nice time on the beach instead. You know, take a step back. Loving yourself like that. Notice. Notice when that angst is there and that stress. And hold yourself to those same boundaries, perhaps that you've learned to hold other people to. So, in other words, you might have learned to just let good people in your life. Well, not. But if you have learned that, learn to only let, allow good behavior from yourself too. And when you find yourself being mean to yourself, take a step back. Give yourself a break. Have a Kit Kat. <laughs> Think of a yes or no answer question now. Or is having a Kit Kat mean to yourself? Processed food. Think of a yes or no answer question now. Your answer is... No, it's the ruby, don't do it. You have been warned, <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new. Leave me a comment as well. How is this resonating for you? Let me know in there. I love hearing from you guys. And also consider clicking that join button down there as well to join my membership. You'll be invited to some members only lives there. And if you catch me, you'll get a reading. And if you don't, then you can watch the replay and you can get those special readings for our members only in there. Well, have the best day ever and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.